Hey, it's Lemon. Welcome back to the Backlogs. It's October, so we're going to do a few spooky challenge runs this month. Because themes are fun, and because I'm also not allowed to go trick-or-treating anymore, and this is the next best thing. And what could be more spooky than every Salt and Sanctuary player's worst nightmare? What if every single enemy was a spindle beast? Be warned, this video is not for the faint of heart. If you're afraid of AI with endless aggro range, unicorns, or being impaled, you may want to click off now. I wouldn't blame you. For those of you who remain, you're in for a wild ride. So what exactly is this run? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is a mod created by Nall12345, and yes, that is his actual name. His mod actually can do all sorts of crazy things, from making every enemy in the game invisible, to creating a boss rush mode, to the challenge we are currently about to attempt, where every normal enemy turns into a spindle beast. If you're unfamiliar with spindle beasts, but are familiar with Dark Souls, just pretend I'm talking about those annoying thunder unicorns in the frozen wastes of Dark Souls 2, and you'll be right on point with everyone else. And if neither of those two references hit home for you, all you need to know is this. Unicorn bad, unicorn spoopy, unicorn stabs you to death and kills you in one hit. So, with that said, let's get started. I started as the Cleric, because being light and nimble is probably the best tool I have against these monsters. Well, the ship looks normal enough. The mod creator did say that messing with this area led to a lot of crashes, so I guess we get to ease into the mod. I'll take what I can get. Alright, Deep is dead. That's a solid 8,800 salt to spend on a level up. If we can get there. Oh god, there they are. Wait, how am I going to open the door? Or light the sanctuary? Ah, oh god! Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> well, the good news is the door is open. The bad news is the door is open. But after a bit of luring and a lot of luck, I was able to light the first sanctuary. So at least we're not soft locked right from the start. But that was only two spindle beasts. If we're having that much trouble already, I hate to see what. Ooh, hi. <laughs> okay, well, there goes the 8,000. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they can scoop me out of the air. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, but yeah, I think... This is fine. Ah! Thank you. Oh, thank God, the Sodden Knight. I was worried you'd be a spindle beast too. So, as chat was so happy to point out, the bosses are basically my only chance at a breather. If that doesn't summarize how stressful this run is, I don't know how else to reach you. Oh, okay, this is basically a puzzle dungeon now. Time it right and you get by. Well, I just so happen to be great at puzzles, so if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, careful. Careful. Ha-ha! Now we just... Wait, where'd he go? Well, this has been grand, but I think we ought to just make our way to the queen now, don't you? There we are, almost there, and... Okay, that's fine. Okay, first try. Man, these unicorns have me so frazzled that I'm almost losing to the queen of smiles. Jeez, that would have been embarrassing. Got our damage charm, now we can go into the watching woods. You know, on second thought, I'm more of a beach person. Can we just go back to the Shivering Shore, or... Nope. Really? Um... Boss time. Finally. Another break. Alright. It's Middle Beast! <laughs> Oh no 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 Well at least now we know nothing is sacred in this unholy run. The next few chunks of the game were more of the same. Kill a boss, die repeatedly, kill another boss, die repeatedly, and so on. Throughout this point, I was doing my best to level up my strength, in hopes that I could possibly start one-shotting the spindle beast right back. I have a great sword and a warhammer, so the possibility is there. I just need a few more levels. Thirty or so ought to do it. Boy, it's sure a good thing Spindle Beasts give about 100 salt each, huh? Really makes for easy grinding, huh? Oh, hey, we beat the worm. Running through the Red Hall, I realized I would rather take a trap to the face than try to dodge around a Spindle Beast. And did so. Multiple times. Worth it, though. If someone asks you if you'd rather be hit by a giant spike ceiling trap or a unicorn, you take that spike trap every time. Alright, let's see what we're up against here. Please don't be a tree of spindles. Please don't be a tree of spindles. Please don't. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not sure what's worse, the warping skeletons or the spindle beasts. And before anyone asks, yes, someone is already trying to give spindle beasts the ability to warp in a mod, and that someone has a special seat in hell with their name on it. Oh, thank god, it's just a pirate. Nothing to see here, move along now. Ho ho ho, we're getting closer. Two hits for a kill ain't bad. Alright, Smiles, let's get this over with. 
Take that. And that. And... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Nope. That. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, the dome is looking just as fun as ever. Spoke too soon. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was almost really bad. <laughs> Whew. I'm out of practice. There's no way the Inquisitor should be hitting me this much. At least the lamb fight is going like it should. I swear, this fight is burned into my brain after the number of speedruns that he's ruined for me. Oh, you bitch. All right. Please. Uh, get out of here, you. No. Mm, come on. All right. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> Ass. <laughs> and down goes the Dried King. Ooh, that means I get the dash. That'll help. Prince goes down easily enough. Ow. But the ruined temple is looking a bit infested. The Coveted itself is nothing to worry about with my Warhammer, though. And with that, we're one step closer to the endgame. Let's take care of the side quests. First, we can observe the Spindle Beast in its natural habitat. And that's where you should have stayed! And with that, we can- Oh god, there's more! And with that, we can wipe Karstra off the face of the island. Moving right along, Crayon offers us no issues whatsoever, so we move on to Maul's floating castle. It's not so bad, and it's not like they can catch me once I'm upside down. This is fine. This is fine! And with that, we're at the final stretch. This witch is honestly a bit of a pushover these days, and the Salta Alchemancery with our little skip here doesn't offer much of a challenge either. I always forget how strong actual weapons are. All these challenge runs have really skewed my perspective. Anyway, let's finish strong. We dodged the last few spindle beasts. Uh, cut the camera. Carl, it's the red button, just cut the camera. And we finished off the last three bosses. The Forgotten Kings, Scourge, and even the Nameless God go down without a hitch. And now, finally, the nightmare can end. Whew, what a spooky start to October. I don't know how we're gonna beat that. <laughs> Oh, fuck me.